how to draw floor plan accessory and landscape using Microsoft Excel Part 4. Welcome to Gawaka Studio. This video tutorial is a continuation of the episode, How to Draw Floor Plan Detail and Finishing Using Microsoft Excel Part 3. In this episode one will show how to make a sketch of bathroom accessory finish, bedroom furniture finish, living room and dining room furniture finish, kitchen section furniture, and exterior or garden finish on semi-detached house floor plan drawing. First you need to provide the accessories or furniture of your choice in a PNG file format that you can download from the website. Once all the accessory are available, we begin the next process. You need to follow this video to the end and observe and understand the movement of the arrows step by step until completion. Before we get started, I would really appreciate if you click the like and subscribe button as this video will provide knowledge, information and be useful for you. All right. Now we start the process and technique of making a finishing drawing on the floor plan of a semi-detached house. This tutorial is a continuation from the results of the previous tutorial part 3. Alright, now we start the next process. We start by inserting pictures of accessories and furniture. Go to the toolbar, click insert, Click Picture, and click this device. On the Insert Picture view, go to the folder where the picture file is saved, select the picture you need and click on the Insert button. OK, once the pictures are available, you can move and specify the location according to your taste. If the picture you moved is not visible on the floor plan, use the Bring to Back and send to back format on the picture. If necessary, you can also do the process of reducing size, rotation, and cropping the picture.
The next process is to make the sidewalk floor on the outside. Do the step-by-step -step process as shown on the screen. The next process is to make a drain at the end of the sidewalk floor on the outside. Do the process as follows. Go to the toolbar, click Insert, click Illustration, click Shapes and click Rectangle. Create an image like the display on the screen and select the appropriate color. Next, move the image to the position you want. The next process is to create a landscape area. Go to the toolbar click Insert, click Illustration, and on Shape click Freeform, Sharp, create an image like the display on the screen. After that you can specify the color and pattern of your choice. Next proceed to make decorations on the landscape area. Use the copy and paste technique and determine the position of the tree according to your choice. How to draw side view and roof plan using Microsoft Excel Part 4. Okay, done. I hope you can understand and be able to do it perfectly. Maybe you need a little practice to dominate this technique. I hope this video tutorial gives knowledge and is beneficial to you. As a token of appreciation and thanks. I request you to click the like and subscribe button on this video. If you're interested in following the full episode, please visit the Gawaka Studio channel. In the channel you will be able to follow a complete tutorial entitled How to Draw Elevations Plan Using Microsoft Excel Part 1 How to Draw Floor Plan Using Microsoft Excel Part 2 how to draw floor plan detail and finishing using Microsoft Excel Part 3. How to draw floor plan accessory and landscape using Microsoft Excel Part 4. How to draw side view and roof plan using Microsoft Excel Part 5. How to draw top view and roof plan using Microsoft Excel Part 6. The Making of Semi-Detached House Plan Using Microsoft Excel Part 7 See you in the next episode. Thank you. From Gawaka Studio